Well, two memorials are planned for Winnie Madikizela Mandela in New York this week, one in Harlem on Thursday evening and another at the United Nations on Friday morning. It was the first international city that Winnie Madikizela Mandela visited alongside newly released Nelson Mandela in 1990, hosted by the first black mayor of New York, David Dinkins, who I am told will speak at the Harlem Memorial at the ripe old age of 90. Mam Winnie and Madiba's visit included a ticker tape parade in Manhattan, a town hall meeting in Harlem, and a visit to Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, cementing New York's bona fides in support of the struggle against apartheid. The memorial will be held at the historic Abyssinian Baptist Church that also hosted a memorial when Madiba passed away in 2013. Members of the Congressional Black Caucus, a crucial bloc in the United States Congress that delivered historic anti-apartheid sanctions legislation in the 1980s, will also be in attendance. The keynote speaker at Thursday's memorial will be Amina Mohammed, the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, who of course hails from Nigeria. We also understand that New York's current mayor, Bill de Blasio, has also been invited. Then on Friday, the United Nations General Assembly will pay tribute in a memorial to Mamwini. She was, of course, alongside Madiba, then Deputy President of the African National Congress, when they historically entered the General Assembly for the first time on June 22, 1990, to the raucous applause of member states. Friday's event will also include remarks by the Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, the President of the General Assembly, Miroslav Lajcek, and ambassadors representing each and every regional bloc at the United Nations. Sherwin Bricepies, SABC News, New York.